Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Kulu Linux and uh, today I'm going to be showing off uh, a little something I've been working on in the background. You know, um, <clears throat> I haven't made an XFCE build in, in about two years, I think, but uh, the XFCE, I think it was the 9 series that we released was the one that actually pushed us up to number 11 on DistroWatch. That was back when we were still doing releases to DistroWatch. We don't uh, put releases on DistroWatch anymore and there's a whole story to that and I won't get into that now. But today I want to show off the new XFCE build that I'm currently working on. Uh, so we are back on the XFCE tra track and you know I keep hearing people saying uh, XFCE is old, XFCE is dead, um, desktop environments like Cinnamon, um, and Gnome are, are, are sort of, and, and um, you know, they're sort of like every what everybody's flocking to now, um, and KDE obviously, but uh, you know, uh, they underestimate the power of XFCE, the, customize, the cust customizability of XFCE, and the speed of XFCE, you know, so I'm running this in a virtual machine, so you might see occasional flicker on the screen. Um, that's just my virtual box and some of the stuff I'm doing here. Uh, so just ignore that. But um, I'm going to do just a little quick video to show you what I'm working on. There's almost nothing on this build yet. Um, I, I'm still busy doing back-end stuff. Um, this is a very early alpha build. But uh, if you have a look at it, you know, just from the desktop environment, you'll see it. It does look really beautiful with the transparent bar and uh, the transparent buttons. And of course, I've got the dual menu back with the uh, whisker menu on the left and the um, synapse menu on the right. OK, so um, if you open up the menu, you'll see I've, I've given it a nice little modern look. It's got a transparent uh, uh, border right around you know you've got your category buttons you've got your uh, applications um, it does look very modern even the little buttons pop up uh, sort of a really little transparent little different shades of transparency um, so this does look very 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 modern very sleek it, it kind of looks like a KDE menu you know it, it's it doesn't look old or dated or anything like that so that's really nice so that's the whisker menu on the left uh, of course, you've got the Synapse menu on the right, which is a quick search. You can sort of start typing something and just enter, and it will open the application. Okay. Uh, the terminal as well, as you can see, everything here looks really, it does have a modern look. It doesn't have that old look, and it's all instant. You click, it's open. Uh, if you open the file manager, once again, you'll see uh, I'm running here uh, Thunar. 1.6.11 but if you have a look at it it doesn't look old or dated it, it does look very modern with lots of options lots of options it's got a very nice sleek look which is uh, it, the, the, the theme is white with a cream creamy sort of a top theme of year color um, it's got the champagne green the gray and the blue highlights okay so it's a, sort of a mixture of a bunch of colors as are the menus over here it, it will highlight blue but in the menu it highlights green um, so yeah just a little variety of colors you got the nice icon set the Moki Makulu icon set beautiful beautiful icon set really really modern look um, very shiny very nice um, so yeah very cool there's a lot of transparency on this build as you can see the top top um, window borders are semi-transparent when you drag obviously you've got the normal transparency there which I've set up you've got the bottom panel which is very transparent and as well as the buttons if you you know if you sort of uh, open or close items you've got that very very nice sleek transparent look the text is nice and white very easy to see um, so it's a very very cool look um, so lots of transparency all around just to give it that nice little modern look as you can see very sleek uh, even the transparency around the buttons uh, very very cool so yeah um, so that's just the sort of front end of the build um, if we actually go into um, something that sort of used to come 
standard on on the Makulu XFCE builds was well the big thing that everybody sort of really likes is the compass which I've now integrated now you've got a little on off compass button here you've got it here as well in the menu compass on off okay and basically what this does is it allows you to with one click switch it yes on no off okay so if you turn it on you'll see compass will turn on and now suddenly you've got this sort of transparent really really transparent uh, menu border the the um, window window border and it really does make it look like it sits on a layer of really awesomeness just transparent all round you know and you've got the the the, the compass effects obviously the uh, bouncy windows and you'll have the you know your your cube and you can unfold the cube and you've got the really nice reflections and you can see the speed yeah I'm inside a virtual box this thing flies um, so yeah so you know you've got all the normal compass effects but really what sets this compass apart is the fact that I've actually if I just minimize this and I go into settings okay if I'm gonna switch it off again because I want to show you something okay see instant off instant on if you look at this uh, the settings panel you'll see you've got your window manager here you got your window manager tweaks okay so this sets your borders your window decorations and this one sets up uh, your window manager settings you know play placements uh, composite and so forth now when you switch compass on these two become obsolete they don't actually do anything while compass is on yet they remain in the menu which is kinda stupid um, so what I've done is I've integrated compass into the actual settings panel so that if you turn it on it actually removes those two icons over there and it replaces them with the compass window settings manager and the emerald theme manager which you know manages your your window borders so um, if you turn compass on it gets replaced with actual um, icons that actually do something you know the other two get removed and if you switch on compass off again you know it removes the compass settings manager and emerald theme manager and puts back the two other icons that actually do something so I've completely integrated compass into the system where it will not it doesn't just do it in the settings panel it will actually remove all the icons um, relevant in the menu as well so it it all over the show it makes little changes everywhere to sort of uh, adjust to the system you know, adjust the system to whether compass is enabled or disabled okay so very cool very nice you've got all the bouncy effects uh, the guys that really like it, bouncy effects or 3d animations or you wanna just impress a friend or whatever it's in the system it's there and it works like a dream um, the guys that don't like it just turn it off I mean it's one button it's on one button it's off um, so yeah very very cool the system looks nice it feels nice it's really fast um, so yeah I just kinda wanted to show you what I'm currently working on um, I'm sure that uh, a lot of guys will be itching to get their hands on this it is very very fast it is so fast that um, the testers have reported they install this build in three minutes three minutes to install this build okay this is a fully operational ISO fine there is not a lot of software on it at the moment but the ISO is still about one point odd gigabytes and this installs in just three minutes I mean when last did you even a <laughs> year of a um, Linux distribution installing in just three minutes so yeah um, it's very fast it's coming your way at some point in time um, yeah so just keep an eye out for this uh, you know this year is going to be quite big uh, I've got the Lindos builds that I'm working on I'm going to be pushing a new public beta on that soon a lot of changes there the XFCE series will be coming out um, I've got some other stuff in the works that I'll in announce in due time this XFCE will come out in uh, two architectures you know 64-bit and 32-bit and it will come out in a light build and a normal standard build the light build being pretty much like this one with very 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 minimal software allowing the user to install all of his own apps and the standard build will obviously come with uh, a lot of pre-installed software for the guys that prefer it that way 
So yeah, um, uh, there's going to be quite a lot of theming options, and uh, uh, I'll, I'll include one or two icon sets, and you know, just the usual stuff to play with. But um, <clears throat> very cool, very cool look. I mean, just look at the speed. This is inside a virtual machine. I'm not even on actual hardware. So uh, yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will chat to you soon and please guys uh, you know if you can uh, donate to the project um, I did say there that every single time the donations hit the $500 mark I will do a release I actually have a Lindos build that's actually ready to go but I'm watching that bar and uh, the guys might get annoyed with the fact that I've implemented this new thing about uh, every time it gets to 500 I do a release but uh, you know the donations don't come in and the project comes out of my pocket um, so yeah tough times um, if that if that bar hits 500 I will do another uh, another release so uh, yeah just uh, pop over to the Makulu Linux website you'll, you'll see it there if you want to if you want to contribute to the project great uh, we could use the, the, the assistance financially and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I shall chat to you soon. Cheers.